Now we're going to graph an exponential function, and big bases look different than little bases or small bases. Either way, regardless of if b is uh, bigger than 1 or between 0 and 1, you can have the same table of values. I'm just going to go from negative 2 to positive 2, and just b to the negative 2 power is 1 over b squared, b to the negative first, 1 over b, b to the 0 is 1, b to the 1 is b, b squared. So we're going to graph out. Now, how big is b? It could be anywhere, anything greater than 1. So I'm just going to draw it as if it was close to 2. And this will just let us get a pretty nice uh, scale graph here. So we got 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. These are the x values I picked here. All right. 1, Let's, let's ignore that one right there. Let's just say that this is B. The only thing important is that I made it further away. Uh, if this is 1, B needs to be bigger than 1. So there's B right there. Now I'm just plotting out some of these values. The easy one, B to the 0 is 1. Right there. And that is our y-intercept, 0, 1 e to the first is b, so 1b is this point. Now what is b squared? This is where it was sort of important to kind of guess what b was. So if b is close to 2, b squared is going to be pretty close to 4. So we'll just pretend that's something like b squared right up there. And e to the negative first, if b is close to 2, this will be close to 1 half. So this will be 1 over b right here. 1 over b squared is going to be even smaller, 1 fourth. And connect. So we just did the clueless method. Now we're going to connect with a smooth curve, as smooth as possible. And you can get a sense of where this will go. If I keep going more to the right, I'm going to definitely be going up. So it's going to look like this right here. This does not form a vertical asymptote. It gets very steep, it gets exponentially steep, but it is not going to be a vertical asymptote. What happens over here on the left? Well, B is 2, this would be a quarter, and if I went to negative 3, I'd have an eighth, sixteenth, thirty-second. It gets very, very small, but it will never actually cross the x-axis. It will be a very small fraction getting smaller, but it will never cross the x-axis, so we're going to get a horizontal y equals zero intercept, uh, no, horizontal asymptote here. That'll be end behavior, so let's draw that in while we're on it. On the left side, we get y equals zero. Now on the right side, this function is not like any of the other ones we've seen before. You got zero, y equals zero on the left, and goes up on the right. We got no x-intercepts. Domain, I could have put any negative number or positive number in here, so it has a full domain. Now range, you cannot get zero as a y value, so we're going to go zero to infinity, open on both sides. That takes care of a big base. Now small base, how is that different? Well, again, I'm just going to pick a b value, I'm going to pick a half, just a nice easy number between zero and one. Either way, b to the 0 is a 1. Same point right there. Now b, uh, when x is 1, our y value is b. So now b is small. So we'll call that 1. There's b. Now b is a half. b squared is going to be a fourth. Right there. Negative 1 uh, will be 1 over b, 1 over a half. And multi-story fractions, you want to uh, multiply by the reciprocal, and you get 2. Uh, so you're going to get something close to 2 here. It's weird because you're writing as 1 over b, and 1 over b squared is going to be close to 4. So that'll be up here. 
and we're going to do the same thing, connect these together, it's going to be very similar to what we got on the first example. Smaller and smaller going to the right. On the left, we're going to approach uh, positive infinity. So let's do our end behavior first. Circle zero on the right. Approaching positive infinity on the left. X intercept, Y intercept. We got no X intercept. Y intercept, same as before. Domain, full domain. And range, still zero infinity. So if you remember from transformations, there is one transformation that goes from this graph to this graph. What transformation is that? Horizontal reflection. Horizontal reflection, make the x negative. And we get 1 over b to the x. So how do they differ? Well, if this uh, base was small, the horizontal reflection would be 1 over b. So if this base was a half, this reciprocal would be 2 right here on that graph. 